What am all my MVPs and welcome back to my channel, Most Valuable Poets. As this video suggests, there's a couple of things I'm going to change on YouTube. It is with great intention and a bit of my own sorrow to say that I'm going to be stepping down from a lot of what I'm doing within the poetry community online, on YouTube and on other platforms. Please stay tuned towards the middle of this video to find out why I'm doing this. I'm not just leaving everyone high and dry. I'm also going to say what steps I'm going to put in place as I phase out some of the things here and stay tuned towards the end to find out what's going to happen with YouTube. What am I going to offer and what I'm going to be doing going forward. So here's what's going to change. Uh, last year, uh, around the summertime, was a really big time of me trying to get monetized. I was really trying to get the entrepreneurial part of Dimitri Reyes Poet up. And thank you again so much. I thank you all every day and every time I'm on here for getting me to the point where this channel was monetized. Um, and I was doing so by posting four or more videos a month. As of right now, I am taking on too much to do the four required videos each month. So I'm going to step down to about two, maybe three videos a month, uh, depending on what I can handle. Secondly, on Patreon, you'll notice if you go on that website that my tiers are now closed. I am no longer going to be doing any of my consulting through the month to month Patreon services. So if you are a poet that's working with me through Patreon, you'll still have me for the duration of your Patreon subscription, but as you find your success on Patreon and you reach your goals and you move on like the fledgling poets you are, I will be decreasing those tiers until I am not doing anything on Patreon anymore. Patreon takes a lot of time uh, each month during the weekends with what I'm doing. I spend about anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half on each poet and I have about 22 poets that I'm working with online. So with everything else that I'm doing, plus the Patreon, it's just becoming a lot. And I can't give 100% to all of my patrons no longer if I keep taking on other ones. But what will remain on Patreon is my $4 tier. That smallest tier is going to be open. I suggest for those who want to support me, supporting me on Patreon is a perfect way for me to get that immediate income and there's the give and take. So what you get, I'm still going to be putting uh, poetry prompts every week. And within those poetry prompts, if you are already subscribed, you'll see that those poetry prompts usually include a poetry article, a poem, or some other news that's really important important that's happening in literature or publishing right now. As far as my personal consultations are concerned on my website, you can still contact me for a one-on-one -on -one consultation through my website. Depending on how busy I am throughout the year, I will be taking on different clients on a buy and buy basis. Um, as of right now, as of like February, mid-February, I'm so packed. But if you message me maybe some other month, I will be a little more relaxed and I'll have the time to accommodate you. But again, the main point is that as an educator, I need to be able to give my clients a 100% of myself, and I can't if I'm pulled in a bunch of different directions. But before I talk about what I'm doing, this is not going to affect my workshops. I repeat, this will not affect my virtual workshops going forward. For the 2021, I still have the 11 other workshops slated. Depending on when you're watching this video in 2021, I guarantee you that I should still have spots open unless if the floodgates open and I have like 20 something people in the classroom. I will be capping out my classes at around maybe 20 or 25 and I'm still taking participants. So if you are interested in taking a virtual workshop with me, which is great because it gets you in front of me, you get to ask your certain questions, I get to lecture on some poetry, teach you some craft, and you walk away with a poem written. That information is going to be in the description box down below. Yes, I am still taking participants. And the reason why this is so is because I could take 25 people within that hour and a half session and really give you my 100% all in that hour and a half rather than having the 22 people I have now with Patreon and giving them about an hour each. You can imagine how much time that's actually taking me with everything else I'm doing. And actually, instead of telling you everything I'm doing, I am going to stand here and I'm just going to start popping things up of everything that I'm doing. I don't even think I have this many like shirts for each thing that I'm doing. Let's see everything that is happening now.
So as you can see, I am being split in a bunch of different ways. And I had to make a really tough decision on where to cut. There's so many different places and so many different kind of personalities and responsibilities that I have within the community. And I really had to make sure that I was able to grow and give those people all of that effort that they deserved. Really, the reason I was able to build myself up to this point was because of all of you. And I'm very conscientious that my humble beginnings of education started through me owning my skills through YouTube, through Patreon, through answering your comments, through communicating with you all. And I really appreciate everything that you've given me. Now that I am in these different spaces of responsibility and I owe these people the certain amount of responsibility, I think it was time for me to really even consider my own growth and as an educator as an educator you never stop growing you are never no longer not a student so in order to give everyone that 100% I need to give myself the time in order to actually be a student and grow more so that the next time I come and start Dimitri Reyes poet on a wider scale again we can actually be growing together but I'll say this, there's excellent news to look forward to. This summer, I am going to be releasing every 1st and 15th from Digging Through Press. This is going to be my first published book. So I'm already working with the editors. I've gotten through the first stage of edits and I'm going to have cover art soon. So I'm going to share that with you all. And I'm going to start sharing the different publishing steps because I know a lot of you are into publishing, both self-publishing and traditional. So you're going to get a behind the scenes look while my own life is moving. In 2022, I'm also going to release a self-published book, Papi Pichon. And I already have a picture of what that cover art's going to be. I'm going Going to pop that up right there. So I'm also going to be sharing that experience of self-publishing. So this year I'm working on a, a published book and a self-published book and I'm also working on my third collection. My third collection is still being written and with this extra time I'm going to be able to dig back into that. So my channel is going to evolve kind of more into a, a video diary. So you're going to be seeing these different stages of my artistic process and now you also know I'm working with musicians still. I'm going to be a lyricist and a songwriter for the first time. So a lot of these videos are going to be structured about the things that I'm doing and then you actually seeing what I'm doing. That's how this channel is still going to be a resource to learn. You'll actually be learning through my practices rather than me literally teaching a video unless if you're in my workshops, if you're in my workshops, I'm still going to be teaching and lecturing the same way, and you're still going to be able to feed your poetic passions in that manner. You know, to be honest, 2020 was the year that I was really just invested in the online community. Everyone was craving their own artistic passions and movement during being sheltered in place and so on and so forth, so I was there. I, I was there to offer those classes, to really delve into the free content on poetry, and I was expecting to do that in 2021 also. But what ended up happening was I started putting a lot of my own things on the back burner. I have these three poetry projects. Uh, I have the things that I'm working on with musicians. I'm an arts administrator. And I also have a lot of things to just commit to in my own personal life and my social life and work, just a regular job besides Dimitri Reyes Poet. So there's a lot of moving parts there. And I really had to make sure that I was also growing because I can't give you all the best kind of information and the best content if I am stagnant, if I myself am not growing. In order to be able to teach you, I still need to be able to walk the walk. And I felt like I was getting dangerously close to plateauing with my own artistic passions. So hopefully as artists and poets and people, you understand why I'm doing that. Um, I really hope to get your best wishes. I hope to continue getting your comments, continue getting your questions, and when I have time, I am going to be answering that in the comments. Please make sure that you like, you're subscribed, and you hit that notification bell. Since now I'm not going to be putting the videos up from week to week, they might go up sporadically, so having that notification there is going to let you know when I'm putting up content. There's gonna be so many cool things I'm going to be doing in terms of video diary. Uh, video diarying, video diarying. I'm a poet, I can make up words. But, and also in April, I'm going to have this really cool thing that I promised you. I'm going to have a couple videos for National Poetry Month in April. So please stay tuned to that. As always, I cannot wait to see you in the next class. 
Also, lastly, I forgot to say, my people, don't trip. You know I got so much content. I got over like 60 videos in a poetry tips playlist. And I'm sure that a lot of you haven't seen those yet because I still only have 500, 300, 200 views on some of those. And that is really good information. So anything that I do with, with, um, with the book hauls, anything I do with the editing tips, any of the poetry tips, any of the interviews, the interviews are golden nuggets of information where you are listening to someone that is like me, publishing, doing the work, professors at colleges, you know, they have books out, they're farther along in the career than I am. Watch those too because I do those so you can see how artists are interacting with each other, right? I have the poetry tips and the editing tips so you can go and do those things yourself and I don't have to be in front of you. You don't have to pay that $25 a month to sit with me in a workshop. Although, working with me, you know, you're going to get fed that personalized poetry. So just make sure that you're watching those I can't wait to get more questions and comments on those too. And now for real this time, I'm leaving. See you in the next class.